All right, welcome back. You're still hanging out with us right here on Why in the Morning. I'm Brian Sankwar and on the hashtag Why in the Morning as well, entrepreneurship is the segment. Before we run to a break, we are still talking to Liz Kuhinjiraini, who is the founder of Pop Fusion, and he's also, she's also a world coach. And most importantly, she's a woman in business. And she was trying to actually tell us who is a world coach and what exactly happens behind that title so you're trying to actually tell us uh, more about that please continue where we left off all right yeah. so i help my clients create financial freedom and right. lifestyle freedom meaning that they are able to achieve their goals within a certain time and using the income they have the talents they have and our tagline when i do the wealth coach business is freedom to pursue your life's purpose because many people get stuck in a role not thinking or not knowing that they can actually expand and do something different Right. Yeah. Because, you know, I, I believe that will open you up. It will give you some sort of awakening. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Now, when you talk about wealth, does it always, because, you know, people associate it with money, mm. cars, like physical and tangible assets. But you mentioned a place where you help them to emotionally stay afloat. Yes. Yeah, we'll just delve into that a little bit. Okay. Um, so, my wealth coach business, the biggest thing that we do is a program called Money Works For Me. This money is a, Works For Me. Yes. It's like some affirmation <laughs> with yeah. money. Yes. Okay. Interesting. And um, it's a 10 weeks experience where we take okay. you through this course I within a class setting, which is virtual. Um, and we help you just understand who am I as a person? What can I achieve with the talents that I have? Because we believe everyone has a talent. No one comes to earth empty, so to speak. And so if they take that little thing they have, they can be able to create and make progress with their lives. Now, the program initially fo focused on money, but when people are graduating, they would tell us, I, I was able to organize my life. I was able to get myself in a better emotional state. And we realize it's actually more than money. We are actually helping them get into a mental state, an emotional state, and a financial state where they can achieve their goals and have an impact and also cause others to have impact. So there's this whole ripple effect okay. that Money Works For Me had. Wow. Yeah. I, I like that because we live in a world where everybody wants to make, at least we want to have some sort of, you know, cash flow with yeah. you, whether it's being given or you're getting it from a business yes. now for those classes that you offer if somebody wanted to sign up or maybe get in touch with you yes. uh, how much do you charge and then where can also uh, where can they actually plug in so that they can find you and get to get uh, those los lessons okay so currently we are charging thirty thousand for the classes for the 10 weeks and mm -hmm. um, they can go to moneyworksforme.co.ke and on there it will lead them to the checkout page and they can register for the next season all right. Yes. Thank you. Uh, social me does it have like a social media page as well? Yes. So it's at money works for me with an I at the end instead of an E. So right. that's on, on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Right. Yes. Now as a business owner, let me go back to the woman in business. Yeah. <laughs> as a woman <laughs> in business, because yes, of course, this is also international women's. Is it? Yes. Are we finishing? Are we still on no, international we're still in the month. <laughs> yes, yeah. we're still in the month as well. Now, as a woman in business, mm -hmm. what are some of the principles you go by that not only just work for you, but welcome also other women in the space as well as you juggle between, you know, being a world coach and being this? Okay. So my biggest principle is integrity and being honest with my clients. Just being up, up front and honest with them about what we offer and what they should expect from what we, we are doing. Okay. Um, integrity is a big deal and sometimes it can work the other way because you could lose contracts or deals because someone wants to cut corners. But I believe when you uphold integrity, you get rewarded even more than right. if you try and cut corners. Okay. Um, the other value that I treasure is being available for my children and just seeing them grow because within a short time really they will be out of here and they right. are the future generation of this nation so if i don't invest in them then what am i handing the nation as a citizen right. um the other values I, I i carry which come really from my parents they were entrepreneurs is hard work right. really just getting in there and doing the work and if you get stuck finding the help that you need to move forward Right. Yeah. Uh, before you tell us one lesson, because we're exiting, one lesson you've learned as well being in business. And then lastly, uh, if somebody wanted to get your products, where can they access you and what can they do and how can they go about that? So one lesson you've learned in business that can inspire Ama Mamboga right now. Um, anyone, in short, who is watching the show and they would want someday to become like Liz, Liz and, 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 and do the business that you do. What is that one lesson you've learned that you'll give them? Okay. That that's your camera. 
All right. So one lesson I've learned um, throughout my journey in business is you start where you are. You don't have to have the millions. You don't have to be, you know, related to be the child of someone who's rich. Just start with what you have. Really look at what you have and what can you do with it. It could be raw talent. You could be a singer. And all you can do is sing. Then sing to the best of your ability. We normally say at Money Works for me that... Um, a fish cannot climb a tree and a bird cannot swim in water. So find your niche, find what it is you need to do and do it to the best of your ability at the level where you are. If it means selling things at, you know, kwamta, you know, maliuko, that's pretty much fine because from there, with hard work, with a good work ethic, you'll be able to grow and achieve many more things. So don't give up. It doesn't matter what you have woken up to this morning. I'd encourage you to continue working at it. You can follow us on our social. We actually put some free content out there to help entrepreneurs and also would-be entrepreneurs. Okay. Yeah. I know you do deliveries as well and events. Yes, we do events. All right. Before, yeah. you, before you tell us that, uh, something has popped up in my mind. What is that worst mistake you've ever made in business or with money and, and though I've also remembered that this question I always ask each of my guests here yeah. how is your relationship with money are you attracting money is money attracted to you do you chase money does money chase you ah. which is it so tell us which, which is the worst mistake you've ever made in yeah. business and then also if money is attracted to you or do you attract money or you guys have a very strenuous relationship with money so okay. go first that, that's a nice one so um, one lesson, I don't think of things as mistakes, I think of them as lessons because okay. you're able now to pick the lesson and run with it. And uh, one of the things that I wish I didn't do was playing small. Thinking, okay. you know, I, let me just hide here and do it small and perhaps it's, it's just getting out there and doing big things and having the courage to say, you know what, I'll put my all in here and see what comes out of it. Right. Yeah, so wow. th and that's something uh -huh. I'm doing now and um, I wish I had done it earlier. But then right. again, it's a lesson that I have now that anything I get into, I go big or go home. Right. Yeah. It's like, you know, having a loan, you, s you borrowed money from a bank who can share base and then it can flop and then, you know, it got auctioned. Like it went from bad to worst to the worstest, if that's in English. <laughs> yeah, I right. think all of us hit rock bottom at some point. And yeah. I think I've been there in different situations, depending on what has happened. But the one thing I remember from my upbringing is you never give up. Right. Yeah, Pick yourself up, take the lessons that you have gotten and move on and get the help that you need because no man is an island. We right. work together to get where we want to go. Good. Uh, your relationship with money. <laughs> my relationship with money is abundance. Okay. Actually, my, we do that in class. Uh, our first class, we talk about money psychology. What do you know about money and what has it done to you? Or, right. or how has it stopped you or impeded you to become the best you want to be? Money so can stop someone from oh, becoming absolutely, the best. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm like, money is going to better you and make you glow. <laughs> how can it be an obstacle now? If you don't know how to harness your money personality, it can oh, work. Money against personality. You. Yeah. Yeah, and Good. that really stems from that relationship with money. So my relationship with money is abundance. Okay. I always believe I will have enough. And that and is a mindset now. It's a mindset. Good. And if I don't have it, then what do I need to do to get it? Or do I need to change the goal? Because right. you could want money for a wrong reason or for a reason that will bring you even more expenses or even more pain but you don't know it. So when you come to class, we discuss these things. We go through tests, uh, psychometric tests. We look okay. at your risk profile, your money personality, how to monetize your gifts. What gifts do you have? And so we go through all that. So for me, money is abundance. Right. Yeah. And if I don't have it, it means I don't have it just yet. Okay. It's coming. Wow, I yeah. love that. Now, tell us if people want to get your products uh, for an event. I'm a kuna mtu baby girl maali anafanya birthday. Anataka watu wakwila snacks. Where can they get this product? Do they have a number? Is it an email? I'm a social media website, etc. Okay, great. So for Pop Fusion, our biggest um, outlet right now is the malls. So okay. we are at Sarit, your city. We are coming up in Junction. So because you're li of your um, loyal listeners, I will throw in an offer. Okay. For the next one week, they can get Pop Fusion at 50 shillings off the normal price right. if they come with, um, with a promo code. Okay. Yeah, so, so where can they get the promo code? I'm, I'm going to give it to you right now. It's Y254 okay. 50. Why two five four fifty? Yeah, if That's they go the to code. any of our employees, they are going to get that fifty right. bob off for Thank the rest you. of this week. Thank you. And how much is this box now? So this box is three hundred shillings. 
Oh, that's a lot of money for popcorn. It is, you know? but you will love it. I mean, we have clients who finish it at the stall. Okay. <laughs> it's amazing. It's a beautiful combination of flavors. Right. Um, now, if you want to order it for a birthday, maybe you need 10 boxes or yeah. several for those events that people have. You There's can absolutely do that. Okay. Our number is 0735-260-830. And then you can also inform us at Pop Fusion KE. Uh -huh, that is the website. Yes. At the uh, no, our handle the social media. at Pop Fusion KE. Okay. Yeah, and the website is popfusionke.co.ke. All right. Yes. Definitely, if you are watching, you've gotten all the insights from uh, the amazing uh, Liz Kuhinjahi. Njiraini, good lord. Hey, Karibu Nsemenjahi. <laughs> you know, you can be sued for mentioning names wrongly. It's not an easy <laughs> name. <laughs> all right, we have been speaking to Liz Kuhinjiraini, who is the founder of Pop Fusion, and who is, she's also a world coach. Thank you so much for taking your time to come to Why in the Morning. Thank you, Brian, for having me. You're welcome. I know you have some goodies with us to talk on beer can it um or cause social media saw on that hashtag grind the morning. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, so we're gonna take a very short break. We come back with much more still on the hashtag once again, why in the morning at Y254 channel, at Brian Sakona One, at Kalami Val and at Stephanie Ayeta. Stay right there.